Hi, I'm Amy Hirschstein here with Balance Wellness Yoga and Ayurveda. And today I'm going to go over a sequence to help with depression. If you've read my article, I talk about two causes of de depression. So in Ayurveda, depression is seen as caused either from so much anxiety that we get exhausted and kind of drop from burning the candle at both ends. And so that is a, uh, a vata type depression um, with a lot of tamas or inertia. And then there is more of a kapha type of depression. Um, it does involve vata and um, tamas, but it's more heavy and dull and it's difficult to get motivated. So in either way, when we're in a period of depression, it's hard to get motivated. We want to wake up the body without increasing vata because vata is involved in all forms of depression. So take a comfortable seat, close your eyes and just come to your breath. Nice, slow, deep breath in through your nose. Nice, slow, deep breath out. Focusing your mind on your breath. Let's share the sound of OM, taking in a deep breath. Turning back to center, we'll do some cat and cow. So inhale, press your buttocks up, look up. Exhale, tuck your toes, bow your head. Toes flat, inhale, press your buttocks up, look up. Curl your toes, lift your belly, bow your head. Inhale, press up, look up, cow. Exhale, tuck and round cat. Two more. Final set. Good. Return to table position. Keep your toes tucked under. Soften the space in between your shoulder blades and press up and back downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Walking your hands back to your feet. Inhale, lift top leg. Exhale, bow. Inhale, your arms out to T, rise up. And exhale, take your hands back to your heart. Good. So we're going to use a, a block in this practice. If you have a block, please grab it. If you don't, you can also roll a blanket up 
We're going to place this block in between our thighs. This is what I call a groin block, and this will just help uh, stabilize the pelvis and protect the lower back. Okay? So we'll do some half sun salutations. Your feet are approximately the same distance as that block. Fold your hands. Inhale, reach out and up. Stretch up, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift top, nice, squeeze that block, lift your belly. Exhale, back. Arms out to T, squeeze that block, reach up tall. Look up, exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift top back. Exhale, bow. Arms out to T, rise up tall. Exhale, your hands to your heart. One more. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift top way. Open your heart, ribs and lungs. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Releasing your arms at your sides, just feeling how awake and alive you are in this moment. Option if you have low back issues is to keep that block here. If you don't, you can remove it. Take your feet a little bit wider if you don't have a block. A little wider, like outer hip width apart so the outer edges of your feet line up with the outer edges of your hips. This next one is called Breath of Joy. I have a separate video for this. Uh, it's three short inhalations through your nose. Arms come in front, arms come out to the side, arms come up overhead. Exhalation with the side, you bend your knees, you swing down, and then we're going to swing right back up to the next one. Okay? So it's three short inhalations and then an exhalation with the side. Inhale your arms in front, side, up, and exhale. 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 One more front, side, up, and exhale, and then come on up. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Feel your heart beating. Feel all your blood circulating through your body. You are awake and alive. All right, come down onto your knees. So if you need extra padding, please place it. We're gonna come into gate pose. Stretch your right leg out, I'm gonna mirror you. Right leg out to the right. Inhale, your arms out and up. Exhale, your right hand down to your right thigh. We're gonna take our left arm forward. Just a couple of small circles in one direction, or large circles rather, and then reverse. Opening up that shoulder. Great. Stretch that arm up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Slide your right hand down your right leg. Just commit to above or below your knee. And then swell your left lung. Let's make sure your head is not hanging forward. Inhale. Come on up. We're going to take our left hand about two feet away from us and then take your right hand behind your head, curl and look one way, and then take your pelvis forward. Take this left shoulder back, curl your head back, and stretch your arm out. Breathe into your right leg. Make sure this left shoulder isn't up by your ear. And then using that right arm, inhale, come on up. And let's trade sides. So taking your right leg in, taking your left leg out. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, your left hand to rest on your left thigh. Right arm comes forward. Just explore the range of motion of that shoulder joint. And reversing. Inhale, that arm up. Exhale, your left hand down your left leg. Just don't press on the knee. And inflate that 
right lung, swelling it with your breath. Inhale, come on up. Take your right hand about two feet away from your right knee, but align with it. Take your left hand behind your head, curl inward. And then take your pelvis forward, your heart forward. Take that right shoulder back, curl your head back, and then stretch your arm out. Drink in your breath. And then next time you inhale, come on up. Take that knee back to the floor and just take a breath in. So you'll notice we're opening our lungs a lot, our heart a lot. Heart openers are clinically proven to be antidepressants. So we're going to do a lot of that today. All right, so some of you may need blocks here. It just depends on your flexibility in your hips. We're going to step our right foot forward and come into a lunge. So if it's difficult for you to touch the floor, um, you can use blocks. If it's not, then you don't need them. You can just use your hands on the floor. So inhale, and then exhale, slowly lower your knee. Look up, take a deep breath and fill your lungs. Exhale, slowly straighten out your leg, back leg, and bow your head. Front knee stays bent. Again, drop that knee down, inhale, look up. Exhale, straighten your back leg, bow your head. Drop your knee down, inhale, look up. And then we're going to take our right arm forward and up, and then back behind us, turning and looking back. You're going to reach your fingers towards the back of your mat, right palm facing out to the right. This left shoulder wants to push forward. Pull your left shoulder towards your left hip. Opening up your right side of your chest, what I think I call the armpit chest, and then inhale, reach that arm up, forward, and then back down. Lift your back knee, and let's trade feet. Left foot forward, right foot back. Lower your right knee to the floor, inhale, look up. Exhale, straighten your back leg, bow your head. Inhale. Knee down, look up. Exhale, straighten your back leg, bow your head. Inhale, knee down, look up. Straighten your back leg. And then touch your knee down. Inhale, your left arm forward and up. And then back behind you, turning and twisting. Reach your fingers towards the back of your mat. This right shoulder wants to push forward. Pull it back. Keep the front knee stable, breathe. Breathe into that left side of your chest. Inhale your arm up. Exhale, release it down. And then let's slide this left leg back and come into sphinx position, which is just basically balancing on your forearms, or propping yourself up rather, on your forearms. Elbows underneath shoulders. Legs lengthening back. You can imagine that block in between your thighs. And gently squeeze it to stabilize your pelvis and your lower back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Turn your left forearm in. Bend your right knee. If you don't feel a stretch in your right thigh, stay there. Stop there. I mean, if you do, if you don't, reach hold of that foot and pull your heel in towards your buttocks. So again, not necessary. You can just be here and feel the stretch. You'll feel a stretch at the front of your thigh, your rectus femoris. Good, release that down. Just take a breath in. Take a breath out. Turn your right forearm in, like you're gonna grasp hold of your left arm. Bend your left knee. So you may stop here if you feel the stretch. If not, reach back. Pull your heel in towards your buttocks. Breathing in. Left hip stays grounded. Left ribs reach forward. Good. And release. Lower yourself 
down, slide your hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to press up into table position. And then we'll just sit down. So you can swing your legs around. You don't need a blanket. This is one of my favorite forward, uh, back ends. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Flex your feet. And then go ahead and take your hands, fingers pointing in behind you. You want to imagine you're leaning back in the chaise lounge. Good. So bend your elbows and then hugging your elbows towards each other. Lift your sternum, lift your chin, and fill your chest. Breathe, fill those lungs. With each breath, you drink in fresh oxygen for your blood to circulate around your body. You drink in prana, swelling with life. Good. Come on up. We're going to come to our backs to do a supported back bend. So before we come down, this is a block. You don't need a block. You could use a blanket folded up if you don't have one. But there are three heights, low, medium, and very high. So you have to choose what's appropriate for your body since I'm not in the room with you. Feet are about hip width apart, and you're going to lay back. And then you'll lift your pelvis up and place that block underneath you for one of three heights, right? This is the medium height. And you can bend your elbows in and take your hands out so that your outer shoulder blades drop back. And, you know, if you have a deeper back bend in your practice, you can take the higher height and then you can interlace your fingers underneath you. And we're just going to breathe in, filling your chest. And then keep your eyes softly open. Now, because I'm trying to keep this video short, we're not holding the poses for very long. You may want to hold this pose longer. Take a deep breath in. We're going to lift our palms up just a little bit higher. Slide that block out from underneath you. Release down vertebrae, very vertebrae. And just take a moment. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Float your knees into your chest. Exhale your knees over to the left, and you're going to roll your head in your hands to the right. We want that right shoulder blade to stay grounded. So if you need to, you can always um, place a fist underneath your left thigh to get that right shoulder to drop or a block or blanket. And then inhale your knees back to center and exhale, lower your legs over to the right and turn your belly, head and chest, roll your head and your hands to the left. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale, float your knees back to center and just give yourself a squeeze, hugging your knees into your chest. Roll over onto your side, fetal position. And then press yourself up. So we're going to take a comfortable seat. We'll end with a short little meditation. If you have a lot of anxiety after the meditation, please lay in relaxation. So closing your eyes, I 
want you to imagine the light of the sun, that golden colored light. And as you inhale, you breathe it in. As if your body was like a giant container. So slowly as you inhale, you fill your body with this light. Not only does this light fill your body, but it coats each cell, making each cell radiant. Your body becomes more expansive and more bright. And that luminosity builds so much inside that you start to radiate that light out. So you become like a star, filled with light, radiating out light. softly open your eyes. So like I said earlier, you can come into relaxation if you have a lot of anxiety or you vacillate between anxiety and depression. If you tend to have a heavy, deep-seated depression, then it's best not to lie back down. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Be well.